so our next next topic is ecosystem as we have already discussed that environment is the that all that surrounds us ecology is the scientific study of the interaction between the organism and its environment and ecosystem is the flow of energy and cycling of nutrients surround nutrients in say ecosystem is a natural unit consisting of all plants animal and microorganisms in an area functioning together with all the non living and living materials like physical factors and other things according to british ecologist arthur tansley an ecosystem is defined as a system that arises from the integration of all living and non living factor of the environment so it is combination of both living and non living factors ecology ecology is the study of how living and non living factors affect each other in an environment an ecosystem is the basic and functional unit of ecology these are some of the examples of ecosystem like tropical rainforest temperate forest conifer forest tundra region and these are the distribution of these different regions across the globe so here you can see that blue colored is tundra region green colored is a tropical forest orange is savanna yellow is the desert area so different areas and different ecosystems also now classification of ecosystem ecosystem is divided into two part first is man made ecosystem and second is natural ecosystem man made means which are created by human beings like aquaria garden dams then crop lands and other things and natural ecosystem means which exist naturally so examples are some of the forest some of the other things now natural ecosystem is again divided into two part like aquatic ecosystem and terrestrial ecosystem aquatic ecosystem is again divided into two part that is marine ecosystem fresh water ecosystem marine means the ecosystem inside the sea water while the fresh water ecosystem means from the river from the lake from the ponds fresh water ecosystem is again divided into two part running water ecosystem like river and standing water ecosystem like pond running water ecosystem is also known as lotic while standing water ecosystem is also known as lentic terrestrial ecosystem that means on the land is divided into three part that is forest ecosystem grassland ecosystem and desert ecosystem so these are the classification of ecosystems now natural versus artificial ecosystem what is the difference between the natural and artificial ecosystem the first is natural ecosystems are developed under the natural conditions while artificial ecosystems are created by human beings secondly inorganic nutrients are returned to the soil from which they are taken away so that means if plant is growing and it is taking the nutrients from the soil after death of the plant all the nutrients are going back into the soil while in the artificial ecosystem plants of the the are grown but the nutrients like fruits and vegetables they are taken away from the ecosystem natural ecosystems they don't have distinct boundaries that means they are dependent on each other and there are no different uh, distinct boundaries but in case of the artificial ecosystem they are having a fixed boundaries that means a uh, garden and everything they are having a fixed amount of boundaries natural ecosystems have alternate source of food if there are lack of one food then they are dependent on the other food while in case of artificial ecosystem they are not depend they are dependent on the food but it is only one source of the food that means whatever human beings are supplying there examples are, for example natural ecosystems are grassland forest marine water etc and in case of artificial ecosystem it is aquaria gardens and dams now structure of ecosystem 
we have already discussed the classification of ecosystem that means what are the different types of ecosystem but now let's discuss the structure that means how they are made up of and what are the different components they make an ecosystem so there are two basic component one is biotic component one is abiotic component biotic means living abiotic means non living biotic component is again divided into three part one is producer also known as autotrophs for example green plants and some bacteria which produces their own food and secondly the consumers or heterotrophs these are some of the animals which are dependent on the producers they don't produce their own food they are also classified again into primary consumer secondary consumer or tertiary consumer primary consumers are basically herbivores they eat only herbs or vegetarians secondary consumers can be carnivores or omnivores so they are they can eat carnivores means they can eat only me, uh, uh, non veg or meats while the omnivores they can eat both of them uh, food uh, means plants also and animals also and then the last part is the decomposer decomposer means all the bacteria fungi which decomposes the dead body and dead organic matter and put them into simple parts so these are decomposed biotic component let's talk about the abiotic component abiotic components mainly are of four types one is organic coming from the organic matter from the living bodies like carbohydrates lipids and proteins second part is inorganic like water ammonia gases they exist in nature but they are not organic so water ammonia and other things these they are existing in nature but they are non living inorganic material next is the climatic related to climate like rainfall and humidity and lastly is the physical factors like heat light and temperature so these are some of the abiotic component of the ecosystem now function functions of ecosystem ecosystem and in this case we have to study four thing that is food chain food web flow of energy and ecological pyramid what is food chain food chain can be uh, can be explained as the transfer of food energy from the source starting generally from the plants through a series of organisms by repeated eating and being eaten up can be referred as a food chain so there is a long chain of the food passing through different living organisms by by the process of eating and being eaten up so this is the whole food chain for example here in this case grasses are eaten by the this caterpillar and then this caterpillar is eaten by the bird and while the bird is eaten by the eagle so it is a food chain when the food energy is transferred from the plants to the eagle these are some more examples of the food chain like in this case the plants are the producers while other things are consumers here also grasshopper is the primary consumer bird is the secondary consumer and the cat is a tertiary consumer so this is one example there are many more examples like this uh, in this case again the producer first part is the producer and the remaining are the consumer and they are also having primary consumer secondary tertiary and fourth order of consumer so grasshopper is the primary frog is the secondary snake is the tertiary and the eagle is the fourth level of consumer aquatic food chain also this food chain exist in aquatic uh, uh, ecosystem also so here the producers then primary consumer then secondary consumer tertiary consumer fourth order consumer and fifth order consumers food chains are of two types one is grazing food chain and another is detritus food chain grazing means starting from the birth or starting from the uh, autotrophs or producers so it goes from from the producers to the primary consumer to the secondary consumer and continues on while detritus food chain start after death or starts from the dead body so it starts from the dead body it goes to the primary de decomposer then secondary decomposer and finally whatever it ends to that so these are two types of food chain one starting from the birth one starting from the death so grazing and detritus food chains what are the significances of the food chain why is food chain is important because it can maintain and regulate the population size 
so if people are eating each other then it will maintain the overall population size of population of all the living organisms it is also balancing the ecology so all the nutrients are balanced equally and then it is also responsible for the biomagnification what is biomagnification biomagnification means accumulation of the of the toxic material in the higher level of the tropical food chain that means if there is a long food chain the the toxic material goes on accumulating in the food chain is not going out of that and whenever it is reaching to the highest level of the of the consumer there is the more and more uh, accumulation of this uh, toxic material and that is known as biomagnification that means this toxic toxic material is getting magnified within a food chain as it is from moving from primary consumer to secondary consumer to tertiary consumer to an overall so it is the accumulation of the toxic material in the food chain so that is biomagnification and what is food web it is the interlinking pattern formed by the several food chains that are linked together is called the food web so there are many food chains they are linked in between and they are form making some kind of structure that is known as food web these are some of the examples of food web where vegetables are eaten by the snails snails are eaten by the fox or the chicken and then chicken are eaten by the fox so these are some of the examples of food web little more complex food web example is something like this now let's talk about the flow of energy energy is governed by some of the laws and the first law of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed energy neither can be created nor destroyed that means energy can only be transferred from one to other it is never created nor destroyed second law of energy says that no energy transformations are 100% efficient that means there will be always some loss of energy there will be always some loss of energy there will not be 100% energy will be transferred from one level to other level and how much will be the transferred energy only 10% of the food energy is transferred from one tropical level to another so almost 90% of the energy is gone going to be wasted so for example in this case in this diagram producer is having 1000 kilo calorie while the so the primary consumer will have only 10% of that that means 100 kilo calorie secondary consumer will have 10% of the primary consumer that is almost 10 kilo calorie and tertiary consumer will have 10% of the secondary consumer's energy that means 1 kilo calorie only ecological pyramids the graphical representation of different tropical levels in an ecosystem is known as ecological pyramid and if you are representing the tropical levels in an ecosystem they goes on decreasing as you go on a higher level of the of the food chain and that's why it forms the shape of a pyramid and there are three different types of pyramids of ecological pyramids these are pyramid of number pyramid of biomass and pyramid of energy so let's talk about first pyramid of number so if we are counting the numbers of different living organisms at different e uh, tropical levels then it will form a shape of pyramid and that pyramid is known as pyramid of numbers for example in this case if we are counting the number of leaves there are 1 lakh leaves on a tree then there should be around 10,000 caterpillars and then 100 birds and only one eagle so in this case as the number of living organisms goes on decreasing from leaves to caterpillars to bird to eagle this forms a pyramid which is known as pyramid of numbers because we are counting only numbers this pyramid can also be inverted like if the producer is only one, one and then the primary consumers like herbivorous birds they are more in numbers and then parasites they are even more in numbers and then hyper 
parasites they are even more than in numbers so in this case the number of organisms goes on increasing as you proceed in the tropical level so that means the the pyramid will be inverted because initially it will be less then it will go on increasing 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 and increasing this type of pyramid is known as inverted pyramid of numbers let's talk about the pyramid of biomass so if we are counting or if we are taking into account the weight of the material at different tropical level then it will be called as pyramid of biomass weight means biomass so we will be counting here weight so for example in this case the producers they are having 1000 kilograms of producers then herbivores only 100 kilograms then primary carnivores they are 10 kilograms and the top carnivores they are 1 kilograms so as the weight goes on decreasing it forms a pyramid and that is pyramid of biomass this can also be inverted if i take the density that means if i am counting the producers they are only 4 grams per square meter within 1 square meter area there are only 4 grams but as i increase the herbivores then there are 8 grams in 8 grams per meter square and finally in the carnivores they increase to 12 grams per meter square so in this case the the weight of the of the different organisms goes on increasing and this can be called as inverted pyramid of biomass and the last one is the pyramid of energy again if we are counting the amount of energy at different tropical levels then we can say that this is the pyramid of energy for example here grasses they are having 10000 kilocalories grasshoppers they are having 1 kilocal 1000 kilocalorie frogs they are having 100 kilocalories snakes they are having 10 kilocalories and hawk or the eagle it is having 1 kilocalorie so that means overall energy goes on decreasing and in that case whatever pyramid is formed is known as pyramid of energy pyramid of energy can never be inverted because in a tropical chain or food chain always the energy goes on decreasing it never increases so it should it should never be inverted it will be only the uh, normal pyramid as i told you again the pyramid of energy is never never inverted it is always upright because there is always loss of energy while moving from lower level to the higher tropical level therefore the energy reaching to the next level is always less compared to that of the previous tropical level